Hi everyone, this is a video response to SW Loves Vegans. Um, she made a video, Jehovah's Witnesses, A Dangerous Cult. And I made some comments and uh, got removed and blocked, which I'm normally fine with, but this situation uh, called for a video response. Um, I have no problem, I've mentioned it in videos and comments, I have no problem with Jehovah's Witnesses disobeying the Watchtower and commenting and trying to defend their beliefs. I have no problem with that. I understand that. Um, however, I do have a problem with hypocrisy and lying. And that's why this video response is being made. Because she makes a video on um, Jehovah's Witnesses, a dangerous cult, question mark, and then goes into the persecution of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Which I agree. The you know the Jehovah's Witnesses have been on the violent end of religious hatred and bigotry throughout the years, but they're not unique in that situation. There are many who also suffer at the hands of religious hate and bigotry. Um, so that really doesn't make them all that special. But what's interesting too is they see stuff like this as religious persecution. Free hugs is religious persecution. Um, but what, the, what it boiled down to in this particular video was when she brought up the uh, Nazi Germany and how the witnesses suffered in the camps just like everybody else. And, you know, I grew up on that same story, how, you know, and I was, it was always a source of pride for me to belong to an organization who was of people who were willing to die defending their beliefs. And I was absolutely heartbroken um, to find out the whole story. Um, so this is not to discredit anybody, Jehovah's Witness, Jew, homosexual, anybody that's ever been persecuted, etc., at the hands of religious bigotry. The death is still a death. It doesn't matter what your belief or who you were. It's still tragic, and I'm not trying to demean that. This has nothing to do with the suffering of those in the camps. This has to do with the whitewashed story that comes from the Watchtower and the real story that um, historians know about. Um, and that's even in the Watchtower literature, which is where my comments came in. I started uh, discussing that the Rutherford's love letter to Hitler is available on the internet, that it's, it's a, public, a public record, it's part of history, um, as well as his subsequent um, declaration of the facts that was actually in the Watchtower literature. The, the love letter was not, of course, but the declaration of the facts was. Um, there's actually... In her video, she even has the pictures of the Watchtower or the Jehovah's Witnesses in Germany protesting Hitler. You know, that this is what happened was, was Rutherford wrote a love letter to Hitler, very anti-Semitic himself, all for Hitler, Great thought Hitler was a great guy and he was on his side, and Hitler could care less. Well, Rutherford got his panties in a twist, and it was by his direction that the Jehovah's Witnesses started protesting the Third Reich and Hitler. And that is not staying neutral. You know, Hitler could have cared less, but it was when they started protesting at Rutherford's direction that Hitler put them in the camps. So that that was the start of our our my little comments and then she came back with this propaganda is a form of communication that is aimed at influencing the attitude of a community towards some position by presenting only one side of the argument it often presents facts selectively thus possibly lying by omission or uses loaded blah 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 Unfortunately, when she blocked me, I think a lot of the comments uh, went away, and I was able to retrieve this from my email inbox. Um, but this is why I'm making a video response, was because when I came back with the Watchtower quotes of Rutherford's anti, you know, um, 
anti-Semitism and the propaganda coming from the watchtower and the misinformation and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that's when I got deleted and that's when I got blocked. And that is presenting only one side of an argument, pre presents facts selectively, thus possibly lying by omission. And that's where I have an issue because you're telling me this is how it works and then you go and do the same thing. It's hypocritical and it's a flat out lie to try and bury the facts. So here are some of the quotes and there's a lot by the way and I'm only going to put a few and um, some are the old from the Rutherford's Rainbow and some are from when I grew up. But for those of you that may be sitting at home going, you know, you can't trust anything on the internet and, you know, if she's just pulling quotes, well, no, 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 no. I actually have quite a few of the Rutherford Rainbow. I have the actual books that these quotes came from and looked them up myself. Some of these books I've picked up along the way, some of them I had, and quite a few of them came from a very generous benefactor. I thank you again for them, um, but they helped polish up my collection. So yeah, I don't, I actually check the facts. And I'm happy to scan in or take pictures of the pages if you would like to see the whole page. But I'm going to go through um, a couple. And so modern day Jehovah's Witnesses may not be familiar with the Rutherford Rainbow. Rutherford Rainbow, it got called the rainbow because of, you know, all the pretty colors that it had. And um, they were written during the Rutherford era. And uh, one of the quotes I'm going to do is from Enemies. And some of you may never have heard of this, but I want to assure you that it is from the Watchtower Bible and Church Society. Let me find the title page. That it is from Watchtower Bible and Church Society. And it is by Judge Joseph Rutherford himself, second president of the Watchtower Society. Babylon the Great has fallen is another one that you may or may not have heard of. Um, us in the older generation, we of course have, you know, heard of it, but it is definitely a Watchtower Bible and Tract Society publication. Babylon the Great has fallen. And then there's Watchtower articles and stuff as well. But let me start with enemies. Um, enemies. Rutherford writes that, uh, writes, ultra selfish men called Jews who look only for personal gain. In the same book, uh, they the Jews practice religion in which the devil is the author. You can live forever in paradise on earth. This is post Rutherford, but again, watched our publication. Was God really their father? Referring to the Jews. Did God accept their form of religion? Not at all. Jews are from their father, the devil, and they wish to do his desires and that they were on their way to destruction. Watchtower, May 5th, 1975. This is one that I grew up on. Thousands of European Jews can testify that one religious group in Germany underwent persecution equal to that heaped upon the Jews, Jehovah's Witnesses. Equal, keep that in mind, it was equal to the Jews. Then in a, on April 8th, 1989, awake under the heading, the Holocaust, victims or martyrs. They, and only they, were true martyrs of the Holocaust, Jehovah's Witnesses. This is the stuff that I grew up on. So I always assumed that the witnesses went through, there were as many victims of Jehovah's Witnesses during the Holocaust as there were, were Jews. And uh, let's take a look at the actual numbers. Okay. We know from the history books that it's roughly around 6 million Jews that were killed. And uh, not to mention all the others that were, were killed as well. But the bulk of them was 6 million Jews. According to the 1974 yearbook from the Watchtower Society, they admitted that 2,000 Jehovah's Witnesses 
were arrested and put in the camps. 2,000. And 838 died. Now, that's 838 that shouldn't have died, just like the 6 million Jews. But this, this article, Holocaust Martyr or Victim, Victims or Martyrs, is seriously trying to, to portray that Hitler rose to power, persecuted and killed all those Jews for the sole intention of attacking the 2,000 witnesses and killing the 838 Jehovah's Witnesses. This is propaganda. This is whitewashed. This is telling one side of the story. This is what infuriates me. And it doesn't infuriate me against the Jehovah's Witness because they're no different than I was when I was a witness and I believed what the Watchtower told me. It infuriates me against the Watchtower for dis dishing out this bull and then forbidding you to look and question them. The whole story is out there. I have links below. Um, there. Get the whole story. It is tragic that anybody had to die in the Holocaust, but um, the way the Watchtower plays up their role in um, the Holocaust just really infuriates me um, because the witnesses were there because of Rutherford and they make it out like the Holocaust happened just because of them. Um, but anyway, that's all I have and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.